Good morning, everybody. I'm Brother Joe, and welcome to Morning Prayer on behalf of the Episcopal Church of the Atonement in the Edgewater neighborhood of Chicago this 25th Sunday after Pentecost. One moment, I admit some more people here. Welcome to Google Meet. For now, we'll ask participants to mute their microphones. It's up to you whether or not you want to mute your video. Um, comments can be made um, by clicking on the bubble in the lower right-hand corner if you're using a regular computer. Um, that's important also when we get to the prayer section uh, or the, the, the community prayer section later in morning prayer. While we're, while we're gathering ourselves in prayer, it's our custom to light candles to signify God's presence, and I'm going to do that now. If you don't have a prayer book at home, we follow the structure of prayer uh, in the Brotherhood of St. Gregory Daily Office app. Um, if you don't have a smartphone, you can still do it on your computer. You can put dailyoffice.app in the URL line of your computer, of your phone, or your tablet. Um, if you're using the app, there's some settings that are important. Um, you'll want to set the Psalms to the 30-day Psalm cycle, and you'll want to set the Lord's Prayer to traditional language. Today, I'm going to I'm going to give you some numbers, some page numbers. If you are using a prayer book um, today, I'm going to give you some num page numbers now. And I'm going to give you some page numbers along the way. Morning prayer begins on page 80 of the prayer book, um, followed today by the Jubilate because it is the 19th day of the month. We're going to be doing the Jubilate today instead of the Vanity because the Vanity is actually going to be part of our Psalms. The canticles today will be 16 and 21. Canticle 16 is on page 92 of the prayer book, and Canticle 21 is on page 95. So the Psalms today will be Psalms 95, which is the, the Vanity, Psalms 95, 96, and 97, starting on page 724 of the prayer book. At the end, we'll do um, the general thanksgiving on page 101 of the prayer book. So we'll take a moment here. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. <clears throat> let us pray together Psalms 95, 96, and 97, starting on page 724 of the prayer book. <clears throat> Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Harden not your hearts, as your forebears did in the wilderness at Meribah, and on that day at Massa, when they tempted me. They put me to the test, though they had seen my works. 
Forty years long, I detested that generation and said, This people are wayward in their hearts. They do not know my ways. So I swore in my wrath, They shall not enter into my rest. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But it is the Lord who made the heavens. O oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence. O oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes. When he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness. And the peoples with his truth. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of the isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. A fire goes before him and burns up his enemies on every side. His lightnings light up the world and the earth sees it and is afraid. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the peoples see his glory. Confounded be all who worship carved javinges and delight in false gods. Bow down before him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad, and the cities of Judah rejoice. Because of your judgments, O Lord. For you are the Lord, most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up for the righteous and joyful gladness for those who are true hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Maccabees, of the Maccabees. At that time, many who were seeking righteousness and justice went down to the wilderness to live there. They, their sons, their wives, and their livestock, because troubles pressed heavily upon them. It was reported to the king's officers and to the troops in Jerusalem, the city of David, that those who had rejected the king, king's command had gone down to the hiding places in the wilderness. Many pursued them and overtook them. They encamped opposite them and prepared 
a battle against them on the Sabbath day. They said to them, Enough of this. Come out and do what the king commands, and you will live. But they said, We will not come out, nor will, nor what we, nor will we do what the king commands, and so profane the Sabbath day. Then they quickly attacked them, but they did not answer them or hurl a stone at them or block up their hiding places. For they said, let us all die in our innocence. Heaven and earth testify for us that you are killing us unjustly. So they attacked them on the Sabbath and they died with their wives and children and livestock to the number of a thousand persons. When Mattathias and his friends learned of it, they mourned for them deeply and all said to their neighbors, if we do as our kindred have done and refuse to fight with the Gentiles for our lives are lives and for our ordinances, they will quickly destroy us from the earth. So they made this decision that day. Let us fight against anyone who comes to attack us on the Sabbath day. Let us not all die as our kindred died in their hiding places. Then there, then there united with them a company of Hasidians, mighty warriors of Israel, who offered themselves willingly for the law. And all who became fugitives to escape their troubles joined them and reinforced them. Now the days drew near for Mattathias to die, and he said to his sons, Arrogance and scorn have now become strong. It is a time of ruin and furious anger. Now, my children, show zeal for the law and give your lives for the covenant of our ancestors. Here ends the reading. Together, let us pray Canticle 16, the Song of Zechariah, found on page 92 of the prayer book. Canticle 16. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins in the tender compassion of our God. The dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We came to Rome. The believers from there, when they heard of us, they came as far as the Forum of Appius and Three Taverns to meet us. On seeing them, Paul thanked God and took courage. When we came into Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with the soldier who was guarding him. Three days later, he called together some of the Jewish leaders, and when they had assembled, he said to them, Brothers, though I had done nothing against our people or the customs of our ancestors, yet I was arrested in Jerusalem and handed over to the Romans. When they had examined me, the Romans wanted to release me because there was no reason for the death penalty in my case. But when the Jewish leaders objected, I was compelled to appeal to the emperor, even though I had no charge to bring against my nation. For this reason, therefore, I have asked to see you and speak with you, since it is for the sake of the hope of Israel that I am bound with this chain. They replied, we have received no letters from Judea about you, and none of the brothers coming here have reported or spoken anything evil about you. But we would like to hear from you what you think, for with the regard to the sect, we know that everywhere it is spoken against. After they had set a day to meet with him, they came to him at his lodgings in great numbers. 
From morning until evening, he explained the matter to them, testifying to the kingdom of God and trying to convince them about Jesus, both from the law of Moses and from the prophets. Here ends the reading. Together, let us pray. Canticle 21, You Are God, the Tadeum Laudamus, found on page 95 of the prayer book. Canticle 21 on page 95. <clears throat> You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing an endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people bought with the price of your own blood and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Together, let us say the Apostles' Creed found on page 96 of the prayer book, followed by the Lord's Prayer. I believe in, the God, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Together, let us pray suffrages be found on page 98 of the prayer book. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Blessed Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, grant us so to hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. O God, you make us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such blessing through our worship of you that the week to come may spent in your favor through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Next are the prayers for the Episcopal Church of the Atonement and the community beyond for the week of November 19th. You can add your own intentions either silently or aloud at home, or you can add them to the comments feed of this broadcast. Hopefully I will see them and will be able to express them. 
We pray for the healing and comfort of those for whom we now offer our prayers. We pray for the sick. We pray for Mark, Eli, Ron B, Jerry C, Brad, Mary, Killian, Dennis, Mary, Tom R, Ed, Thomas a priest, Susan T, former President Carter, and Rosalind Carter, Ken, a deacon, Mary, Michael the presiding bishop, Eddie, Donald, John, Tim, Connie, John, Warren, Scott, Mary Jane, Eric, Betty, Tony, Phoebe, Betty, Brother Francis Sebastian, Michael, Larry, and all with COVID-19. We pray for those needing special prayers, the families of those hospitalized or in nursing homes, especially Elizabeth, all who mourn, especially Tom, um, peace of mind for Cecilia, Jim, and Adore, for all victims of violence, assault, and crime, for the grace, courage, knowledge, and wisdom to practice what it means to be the beloved community, for peace throughout the world, especially in Ukraine, Israel, and Palestine, for the work of Care for Friends and Care for Real and all whom they serve, for all healthcare workers, especially Joseph Basil, Jackie, Gary, Will, Choi, Erica K, Larry, Kieran, Lee, Kari, William, Eric, Lisa, Thomas, and Emily, for all families and children in this city and state, for all expectant parents, for all prisoners, we pray for members of our military services on active duty, especially Celeste and Nate. We pray for Paula, our bishop, Charles, our rector, Dave and Amanda, our wardens, for the members of our vestry and for delegates to our just concluded diocesan convention. We give thanksgiving this week for the birthdays of Blanca Plazas, Henry Sanchez, Father Adam Spencer, Rodney Clough, Father Scott Zaucha, Leonardo Williams Jr., Jilda Potter, Andrew Reeb, Sal Martinez, Evie Coe, Pauline Sakar, Sarah Al Nasser, and Kate Schmidl. We pray for the departed, for Phyllis Robb and A.S. Bryant, and at the anniversaries of, the, their, of their deaths, for Helen Lindahl, Mary Elizabeth Ludington, Jose Luis Flores, Ken Schilling, Anne Figura, Gladys Marie Heber, John Fleckenstein, Helen Richardson, Robert Clark Rolofson, Charles Flusky. And we pray for peace in Ukraine, Russia, Israel, and Gaza. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. And one more prayer from Brother Bo for healing for Jim Ferris. Thank you, Bo. Together, let us pray the General Thanksgiving on page 101 of the prayer book. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give your, you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. This concludes morning prayer. Thank you for joining, joining us. You can join us every morning um, with the Episcopal Church of the Atonement at 8.30 a.m. here on Google Meet. Um, evening prayer on Tuesdays at 5.30 p.m., Weekly daily mass schedule is there's a low mass on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7.30 a.m. Thursday at noon. Wednesday, there's a 7 p.m. mass unless there's a, an even song. 
Saturday, um, there is a 10 a.m. healing mass. And Sunday, the schedule is there's an 8 a.m. low mass, which is just ending. There's a sung mass beginning in momentarily um, at 9 a.m. And then there's a solemn high mass at 11 a.m., which is broadcast on YouTube. And I would also ask everybody to mark your calendars for lessons and carol service, which is going to be 5 p.m. on Sunday, December 3rd. Um, everybody have a great week. Be kind and be safe. Thanks, Jim. You're welcome. You doing okay? Yeah. Good. I worry about you.